it didn't start with me and the fighter. It, it really didn't. It's, it's, you know, I used to have in my uh, bathroom for many, many different homes in which I've lived uh, long before my son was born and long after he was born, I would move her from bathroom to bathroom. Didn't really know why. And eventually friends would start spent sending photographs of Marilyn Monroe throughout from before she started working throughout her career postcards pieces from a calendar page something like this that would be sent to me and as a young actor I really had no idea why and I did begin as I began to age beyond the age of Marilyn who after all did not live to be 40 years old um, and, and, and this image that they created, that they took this young girl that had this zest and spark and everybody talks about it in young Norma Jean. And then, then told Marilyn, you can't smile like that because there's too many teeth in your smile. So smile like this and you'll be a movie star. And they reconfigured the way her mouth moves to make a star out of her. Then she's dead before she's 40. So how does the world know what a 40 year old looks like? Cause she's dead, right? And now they just, they, instead of having a singular star, they just keep turning the page and these young women turn up and give their all and go naked before the camera. And tomorrow it's another young girl. I can't keep up with the names anymore. It's, it, is, it is such a huge problem and it is not getting talked about in a, in a realistic way. It's just not, in this day and age with the Me Too movement and the Black Lives movement and the huge portion of Academy films this year that actually have black actors leading in them, always telling black stories, not just stories, but yeah. Hollywood has made it pretty clear they're not very interested in me in spite of the great accolade they gave me. And I'm no longer interested in that either. I'm an actor, that's all I am. I can't relate to the business, I just can't. It's got nothing to do with me or how I was raised. I have no voice in it. I'm not interested in joining the voice that I hear in it. Me too? What a ridiculous, me too? It's childish. I was raped as well. That's a different sentence. I've been mistreated. Ageism for women, unbelievable. It doesn't get talked about. And we're oh, all oh. conditioned by it too, right? That, 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 that conditioning of um, like, you see young women wearing scanty clothing and I'm like, what, what are you doing? It's my right, I can do it, it's my right. Do you know what message you're sending by doing that? Is that the message you want to send? If it is, again, I don't want to be part of the conversation. <laughs>